You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to check out this uh, one pint or half pint. Hmm, got that wrong. Ice cream maker from Don Vier. Now that's how I pronounce it. How would you pronounce it? Don Vier? Don Vier? I'm not sure. Uh, I had this, uh, well, I bought this from Goodwill for $1.99. Anytime I see something like that for $1.99, something I can check out, I will buy it. Now I've had it for a while. I showed it in a previous video. Ooh, we'll wait on that side. Delicious ice cream in 15 minutes. There's the vanilla, the juice slush, chocolate syrup, nuts, chocolate chips, our great toppings, and all those other wonderful things. It's from Nickel Industries, uh, Canada. There's a lot going on there. Item number, no year, made in Japan. All right, and then here is the other side of the box. And you've got this cool, no ice, no salt, no electricity, just human power. All right, instructions for use. Let me zoom in there. That's some tiny font. They always put such tiny font. Let's see. First, we put the Don Deere cylinder in the freezer overnight or for at least five hours. All right. Then we mix up the ingredients. Let's have mom help with this. Thanks, mom. Take the cylinder out of the freezer. Put it inside that pint. Put Take the cylinder out of the freezer. Put it inside half pint. Then put in the stirring blade, pour in the ingredients right away. Cover and attach the handle. Give it two turns, then wait two to three minutes to mix ingredients to chill. Then continue to turn the handle two times every two to three minutes. Wow. The less you turn, the more the Dion Vier works for you. Now, your Don Beer ice cream is ready to enjoy, and he's got it on an ice cream cone. Looks great. We shall see. Let's get it out of the box. It, it's kind of simple and small. I was reading the instructions. It said, just always leave it in your freezer, and every and anytime you want, 15 minutes, you've got ice cream. All right, so that's it. That's all it is. There's nothing else to it. Very simple looking ice cream maker. But for me, I like to learn about them. There's the lid. There's the panel, which is a little dirty. I will clean it. This is exactly how I got it from Goodwill. A little handle that has the company name on it. And then I thought this cylinder comes out. Oh, maybe the... Well, there it is. Oh, there it is. This plastic piece with the cylinder comes out. Yeah. No? Okay, that is... It is attached. It's kind of stuck over the rim. Let's see here. Now, I enjoy doing ice cream makers, and I've done a bunch of different ice cream flavors, but there's all the parts and instructions. Strawberry, chocolate. I was thinking of maybe doing banana. I've never really done banana ice cream. I've done icy Cokes, lemon slushies, orange sherbets, orange creams, frozen yogurts I've never done, but you're just taking yogurt and freezing it. Vanilla ice cream I've done plenty of times. Chocolate ice cream I've done. Strawberry I think I've done. So maybe I will mash up some bananas. How does that sound? Fresh, natural, homemade ice cream in 15 minutes or less. There were a couple little tidbits here. If you did not get what you expected, one of these might be the reason. The cylinder was not completely frozen. The cylinder was placed too near the freezer door. The food items blocked off the cold air vent at the back of the freezer. The cylinder was placed on its side. The cylinder was left in the case or with the cover on. Never cover it with anything. On a direct cooling type refrigerator, the entire freezer interior may have been frosty. The cylinder may have been okay. Too many things. Points to keep in mind. Never heat the cylinder. Do not wipe the plastic parts with cleaning solvents. Okay, that all, that's all good stuff. Now that you own a Don Vier, you can enjoy your own homemade ice cream and sherbs. Sherberts. Fresh, natural, and delicious. You'll love it. And your guests will enjoy the real thing as much as you do. It's quick, easy, economical. And it requires no ice, no salt, no electricity. Your guests. Okay, how many guests are you going to have to eat one half pint of ice cream? Now, it did say somewhere I read it. You could put... Oh, for a firmer ice cream, chill ingredients after mixing for about 15 minutes. So you could put it back in the freezer, I guess. Honey or artificial sweetener. The recipe is called just... A, for just enough sugar, so you may wish to adjust the sweetness to your taste. You may also use honey or artificial sweetener instead of sugar to make your ice cream even taste or pour a topping over it. There's no limit to what you can use topping except your imagination. When the ice cream is ready, its ingredients will increase in volume by about 25%. It's going to grow. We have growing ice cream. All right, let me wash the parts, come back. When I'm ready, I'll put this in the freezer, and I will come back with all of the ingredients for banana ice cream. All right, I was carrying it to the freezer. I took this ring off, and I noticed there is a liquid inside there. So that's what's actually freezing. All right, back 
to the freezer. All right, I am back. I have everything ready for my banana ice cream. Now, I uh, left the metal container in the freezer because I want to get this mixed, put it back in the refrigerator for a little while, and chill it like it said. All right, so banana ice cream. A quarter cup of mashed bananas. So let's just take this here and get a quarter cup. It shouldn't be that many. I got some nice sort of ready to go bananas that would be good for banana type of bread kind of mushy I would say that's a good quarter cup okay we'll get that in there and I'll mash them up one got stuck uh, like I said well the reason I've never made uh, banana -na 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 ice cream is because I don't necessarily like banana -na 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 ice cream but I'm gonna give it a try Mushy banana, mushy banana. Those bananas were perfect. And I have to tell you where I got the bananas. Uh, we had a banana cream pie for Thanksgiving and these were on the top. So I took them off because they were so ready because it had sat since Thanksgiving. But they were perfect in the fridge. Look at that, nice and mushy banana. -na 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 -na. And then, all right, so I mush those. Quarter cup cream, that's the one thing I did measure out, so let's get that in there. Quarter cup of cream. Mmm. A little thicker, of course, than milk. Okay, three tablespoons of milk. Let me get this over here. Here is the milk. One. Two and three. Okay, now before I get the sugar with that same, sometimes I bring out a second tablespoon so I don't run into this issue where I gotta dry it, but here we go. And then two table spoons of sugar. That sounds so sweet. There we go. One. Ooh, I just have enough. I thought I'd have way more than enough. Hmm. Looks like I need to put a little, drop a little bit in there from the side. Not the best vessel for transferring. Okay, there we go. Two table spoons. There we go. Now mix, 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 mix. Now it doesn't say anything about any other flavoring, vanilla or anything, but that would be good, wouldn't it? Mushy banana ice cream. Let's see if my little whisk works better. Come here, little whisk. Okay, so back in the fridge. I will come back then, and I'm gonna get a timer because I'm, you know, I want to make sure I'm very precise. Two minutes, then rest, then two minutes, then rest, then two minutes, then rest. If I don't follow that exactly, I know what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. All right. That looks pretty mixed. Goopy and banana-y. I will be back. I can clean this up and do the next step. Okay. Raring to go. Now, it said fill it in right away. Okay. For our firmer ice cream, chill ingredients after mixing for 15 minutes. Now, I did it before just to be certain. Well, let's get this in here first. Let's get... Oh, I think I have to put this on first. I forgot it went around this. Okay, snug as a bug. Three quarters full. That looks like all of it. Not bad, all right. And then this to this, okay. All right, now let's all review what it said. It said turn twice, remember that? And then sit for two minutes. Turn twice for every three minutes for 10 to 15 minutes. I thought it said two minutes somewhere else. Is it three or two? Well, let's just get the first turns in. One to two turns. Hmm. Then wait two to three minutes. Well, let's just do it. Here we go. So this is my starting point, my handle. So 
There is one. There is two. It's already starting to harden up as ice cream. All right, start. Now I must wait two minutes. Well, that's happening. Oh, I'll get my spoon ready because I think I'm just going to eat it right out of there. I'll maybe get another bowl here. But wait for my timer to go off. I'll be in the background here looking for a nice little ice cream bowl. I think I'm going to use this one. Nah, I think I'll use this one. Well, this was sitting here. It was in a video. I've been waiting for him to shrink down. He's filled with stuff, but he kind of matches the scene pretty good. Okay, that's a minute and 14. All right, so that's the first time. Let me grab a pencil. And a scrap paper, scrap paper. Okay, that is one time. Two minutes. I need to cough. Hold on a second. <coughs> All right, I had to do it. All right. 40 seconds. Can it really be they want it to sit? Uh, it is said if it gets hard to turn one direction, then go another direction. Yeah, here it says two times every three minutes. <laughs> uh, 20 seconds. Uh, I might even put some of those banana, a uh, banana right on top. I guess I won't record all of the waiting for two minutes. All right, there we go. Time is up. That's my starting point. Stop. One. Oh boy. There's one. And two. I wonder if this locks in there. Yeah, that locks in there better. Okay. Two minutes. I won't record this two minutes because I think I have a can of whoop cream. I'm going to go get that. So I will come back. Okay. That took me one minute. So I have one minute on that second round. Yeah, so this was a growing toy, and I've been waiting for him to just dry out, but I don't know. He's quite cute. It's been probably six months, a year. I don't remember when that video came out. I'd have to look. All right, there we go. We are waiting 28 seconds, and I get two turns. Ooh, This will be my second one. Let me mark it now. One for two minutes. And that's two times. We're at four minutes. Get ready. Here it goes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Stop. All right, two turns. Let's get it to this one. It's really close already. And two. Looks pretty good. Let me just lift it. I just want to lift it. See that already? Okay, I did it. Start. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I had this off on the side too. I thought, hmm, this would be cool in a video. I don't think I've ever actually checked this out to see if it's complete. It's the Sweet Treat Ice Cream Set. I find these things and I say to myself, you know, one day I'll put that in a video. Well, guess what? Let's see. It looks like it's still taped. It does not look like a factory tape. It almost looks like a thrift store or garage sale tape. Minus a piece of hair. Alright, so it's got these nice looking little cone shaped cups. Maybe I'll save this for the next ice cream video. There's those, there's those, and four spoons. Look at that. And one of the spoons is dirty. So it was a used set, but includes four double wall ice cream dishes and matching spoons. Pretty cool. All right. 
that's pretty neat. All right, so it's coming up. That is the next two minute round. We're at, this will be six minutes, 35 seconds. I don't want to mark it yet because I don't want to go off kilter here. He's so squishy. Every time I get a bowl or a spoon, he's sitting right there looking at me. Perfect color. And my matching yellow bowl and my matching yellow spoon. All right, so that is the third set. You know what, I'm, I'm next set I'm gonna wash this. I don't like that. Okay, start. Here we go, two turns. One. Well, that made a weird sound. Two. I mean, I think it's pretty much ice cream, but we'll just let it go. Okay, stop, start. Okay, one. Two. Okay, we'll just let that go. Let me go clean this and I will be back. That took me a minute. Right, let's see, what else can we check out here while we're waiting? Various uses. Quick cooler for iced coffee, tea, or soup. Hot liquids can be cooled instantly in the frozen cylinder. Ice cup. Pour cold water into frozen Don Vier cylinder and you can make an ice cup. Points to keep well in mind. Well, we read some of those earlier. I don't really know if I want to keep those in mind. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, I did want to check out this toy. I had shown it in a video. So let me get this next round down. I need to count all the pieces, so I'm going to do that now. While we're waiting. Okay. Two turns. And stop. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Down, there's another one. Start. Remember this? These 50. I never counted to see if all 50 were here. One, two, three. I gotta move quick. Four, five, six. That's a cool sound. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's the first 10. Let's put them over there. We'll do two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's cool. Pretty colors. That's 20. I don't think there's that many in here. There's supposed to be 50. No way. No, 50 squigs, maybe. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then there are four more in there. Hmm. It gives you the exact amount on the outside here. There should be two, six red. There's only three. Okay, so yeah. Incomplete set. So something like that I probably would never really take out on a video because it's incomplete. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Well, it's still pretty neat. Look at how they squish together. It'd be kind of cool if you had like a glass surface here. And you can squig them. You can squig your squigs. The toy that really sucks. This toy really sucks. Hmm. I don't think I'd put that on my toy. All right. Oh. Stop. We'll have to clean those up next round. Two turns. And one. I think we're good. Two. I don't think there's anything 
on the bottom. I'm going to let it go one more time, but I think we've got it. That's too bad. I don't even know how you would fit 50 in this container. Am I reading this right? Yeah, look at that. I guess you could because it would fill all the way to that rim there. Okay, someone's got the squigs in their toy cabinet or something. All right, so let's get set here. A little bowl, banana, whipping cream. You come on in here. You look like you're going to have some fun. And I'm going to get something a little bit sturdier than that for scraping. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten minutes. I think we're spot on there. Spot on for ten minutes. It's working. It's doing exactly what they said it would do. Would you like a little of my banana ice cream? Banana. -na 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 -na. I will put one of these, uh, two of these on top just for decoration before I dig in and try my banana ice cream. Okay, I think we got it. 23 seconds. I'm ready to go. I can't wait any longer. Look at that. Look at that beautiful looking ice cream. And it's firmed up really nice. You know, it's basically one small bowl of ice cream. Now, normally I would probably taste that there. Ooh, that scared me. Stop. Here's everything that's on the bottle. It's even stiffer down there. So that's why they say just keep the base in your freezer. If you ever want to make a ice creamy kind of creation, you're ready to go. I almost put that in my mouth. I don't want to taste it yet. I want to relish in my 10 minute adventure. Okay, I've scraped pretty much every last morsel. Looks pretty good. All right, so we'll have to doctor this up. Would you like a little? Here we go. Mm. My banana treat. Banana. -na 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 -na. I think one there as it falls off and one right there okay me and my little friend here are gonna give this a taste all right we'll move him over here so he's closer to eat all right here we go nice big scoop before I I want to actually taste the ice cream itself before I try the actual banana there splendid it's good. It's very good. And I'm not a huge banana ice cream fan. Mmm. Very tasty. Let me give you a nice close up. Actually, you know what? Let's just put a little of this on here. Let's add another banana. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to make this the thumbnail. Let's get this stray one out of here. It doesn't seem to want to fit correctly. There, this will be the thumbnail. Let me zoom into my little fella. Alright, I'll take a picture now. Snapping picture. Good. I usually sometimes take a few. Let me, let me get them right in there. It's still processing. Alright, so what do you think? Yeah, I think it works great. Probably one of the better of all the ice cream makers I have used over the years. Snap another picture. Okay. All right. Would you like a little bit, my friend? <laughs> Here you go. Let's go. Oop, you got a little bit on your lips. All right, so what do you think? Let me know. I am not going to stop eating this, so I'm going to enjoy this.
What ice cream would you make? Would you eat the banana? No, 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 no. I do like the texture feel. It's got a really nice banana flavor, and then you get a little chunk of banana. I'd actually make that again. Let me clean you up, buddy. All right. So that is another one of my ice cream sets. What I'll do then, I have a few more, but I've been trying to get this item together. It's the Kenner New Jet Easy Wash Dishwasher. I just need one more piece for it. I think I might do that one next. All right, I've had enough. There's no way I can finish this. No way. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Would you leave that one bite? No. Thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.